I would not expect to find this in Vietnam. Today I am heading to the lot, but first I'm gonna have to take a 15 hour sleeping bus to get there. Time is now soon 2 p.m. and I'm gonna arrive there around 5.30 a.m. So hopefully the bus is a little late, so I arrive a little bit later. But uh, yeah, I'm very curious because it's gonna be on the mountaintop and it's supposed to be cooler there which i'm really looking forward to so let's get to the last when you get to a bus stop that you are given a seat number and guided to your seat you have to take off your shoes and everything and then you find your seat and you realize it's super tiny as you can see i don't really have a lot of space i also have to have my backpack on me it's not really made for westerner but makes no sense to make it for a westerner because this bus was full of vietnamese people so in the middle of the night they stop at a rest stop where you can have some food i mostly ate rice and tofu and kale because they had a lot of meat that i don't really eat um but it's nice that they stop after arriving 4 30 a.m in dalat after a 15 hour bus ride from da nang i got to my hostel and I was so lucky that there was somebody in the reception. They were not really awake, but they <laughs> they did wake up. So they gave me a bed and I have now rested for a few hours. I'm now ready to go and explore Dalat. So in Dalat you can do a lot of different activities. You can hike to so many waterfalls, you can go zip line, you can also go on a tour to learn how they make coffee, you can go to so many pagodas and temples, you can go and explore so many markets, there's so much to do here. I only have one day here before I go to Ho Chi Minh, so I'm just gonna walk around the main city and go to some markets. On my way into the city center, I'm walking through a flower garden, which is so nice to start the day with. There's so many flowers I've seen before and I've never seen before. Oh, they have hortensia here. Oh, that's nice. So many different flowers. It's just a beautiful way to start the day, actually. Dalat was a really important place for the French to come for their holidays uh, as we are over a thousand meters above sea level which means that it's much cooler here than in a lot of the other cities. Right now it's 24 degrees Celsius and yesterday when I was in Hoi An it was 40 degrees or something. Yeah, perfect place for the European and the French to come here and have their vacation. I've now come to the first and biggest Catholic church here in Dalat. It was built in 1931 to 1942 uh, and by the French of course. Apparently this was the first building the French built here in Dalat. And to be honest, up north I barely saw any, I don't think I saw any churches, like Christian churches. But for the south I went, like on my night bus. Uh, last night I, I started to see Christian churches so I assume that it was more important in the south than it was in the north seeing that it takes up so much space here uh, it says a lot about the French and how the French influenced the area I've just come to what must be the most famous place here in Dalat the crazy house it was built by a female architect and it was originally called the moon house or something like that but now it's called crazy house and she really wanted to go back to nature and tell like the humans that we have to uh, go in line with the nature more and not destroy it like we, it would, like we already do but this place is very fantastic it looks kind of crazy but I like it it's very like nature back to nature Just 
staircases are never ending they're up there down there in every direction this is a really cool house and I would not expect to find this in Vietnam I feel like I'm in Europe seriously both the church and this crazy house I feel like I'm in Europe expect to find an underwater themed room that was so nice like what a nice surprise it was yeah it was done so beautifully this is also a hotel so you are able to stay here if you wanna the rooms are so nice and I'm like wow this is a really really nice 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 architectural gem that's the word architectural gem here in the lot if you ever come, I really recommend coming here. You have to pay 60,000 dong to come in, but it's worth it. It's beautiful. I have now come down to the Lat Market. It looks like they're still setting up for this uh, night's market. Still, there's a lot of shops open, so I'm gonna go and take a look. This is really it's a big one. It's very busy here, uh, and it's different from the other ones that I've been to. So, yeah, uh, it's like it's like a square. So the shops are like around the square um, instead of being like some small streets or something. Uh, and wow, that one is really cute. I wonder what the story behind that one is. After a beautiful day walking around a lot, it was time to watch the sunset and just enjoy. This city is just perfect for the travelers who would like to see more culture. And there's not a lot of tra travelers here because I couldn't really see any souvenir shops or anything like that, which you would find in any other city. If you like this video, please give it a like and maybe you want to subscribe as well because next week I'm coming out with yet another Vietnam video, the very last one. But after that, I am coming out with so many more videos from other countries such as Cambodia, the Philippines, Indonesia, Australia and more. So you might not want to miss that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you the next one. Bye!